left to turn, make you straight out the departure runway one to the right. Take off, I'll call your turn to the northwest. Straight out, take off, uh, one zero to the right, you'll call our turn. Beautiful. All right guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you a super cool card trick that you can do using any deck of cards. It can be uh, borrowed, it can be your own. But basically, if somebody comes up to you and they say, hey, look, I wanna see a card trick, what can you show me, right? This is a perfect card trick that you can do and hopefully win some money. So if you guys wanna see it, don't forget to watch the video. And if you could, please like, like the video. It's gonna help me out tremendously. And um, anyways, guys, here is what it's gonna look like. All right, so let's say you go up to somebody, right? They give you a deck of cards, whatever, and they say, hey, dude, can you, can you do a trick? You say yeah sure okay let me let me you know let me try something so with a completely random deck all right you take it you show it to the spectators and you say all right um, why don't you just go ahead why don't you think of a number for me real quick you know something something maybe between you know one and fifty two because there's fifty two cards just give me something in the middle we can work with all right so in this case let's say the spectator says something like twenty one all right so at this point what you're gonna do is say listen I bet you five bucks right now that if I count the cards, 21 cards down from the top is going to be the nine of clubs. Okay. So at this point, the spectator can take you up on your offer, and if they get hesitant, just say, "Look, you know, look, look, you want to change it? You can change the number." Okay. So at this point, let's say they say 20. Let's say they say 23. All right. So you go down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. All right, and at this point you say, look, do you want to, you can change it again, okay? So let's say, let's say they go 25, right? So I think we're at 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, okay? And if they want to change it, they can, but you say, all right, let's just say that they keep it at 25 cards, right? So on the 25th position, the nine of clubs was the card you happened to stop at. So guys, this is the trick, and if you want to learn how to do it, don't forget to stick on for the tutorial. All right, so here's how you guys are going to be able to do the trick. So the good part is um, you can really use any deck of cards. Um, so in this case, let's say the spectator gives you a borrowed deck of cards, right? All you're going to do is, while they're not looking, is take the bottom four cards of the deck and just flip them over just like this, all right? So obviously, while they're not looking, maybe you're misdirecting them, maybe they're talking to somebody else. Just get the bottom four cards flipped so they're face up just like that. All right, so once you've done that, just remember the card that's in the last position. So in this case, it's gonna be the seven of spades. So if you flip the deck over like this, the top card, seven of spades, that's gonna be your card, all right? So from this point, all you have to do is kind of just convince the spectator, look, say, I want you to just think of a number, you know, just think of a random number, maybe between one and 52, maybe somewhere like in the middle of the deck, right? Just something random. Okay, so that's what you're doing. You're making the spectator think of a random number. You don't want them to say 48, because if you deal down and they see that these cards are face up, then you're pretty much screwed. But if they pick something in the middle, that's what they're gonna probably do anyway. So let's say, for example, they set a number like 15, okay? And if the spectators, if this is a borrowed deck, the spectator already knows this isn't a fake deck. But if this is your own and you're showing it to somebody, just kind of make sure you show them the faces. You could also do a ribbon spread where you leave the cards on the table face down and then spread. And then obviously you're not going to show the cards in the back that are face down. Just kind of making it look like it's a normal deck from, you know, from the top and whatnot. So at this point what you want to do, like I said before, you have your spectators pick a number and let's say they say something like 15. Okay. So whatever they say, just be like, oh, okay. Um, yeah, pick a number, yada, yada, 15. So look, I guarantee you, okay, 15 cards down in the deck right now is the seven of spades. Okay, whatever card this one is in the back. And at this point you say, look, I bet you five bucks it's the seven of spades. And if they say, you know, if they get scared, just say, look, you, look, you can tell them, well, do you want to change it, right? Do they, want, they can change their number at any time because you'll see what, what I'm going to do. Let's say we start counting down, right? One, two, three, and make sure the cards are messy, okay? Because you'll see that's kind of important. So I think we're at one, two, three, four, five, six, and it doesn't really matter, okay? so seven, eight, nine, and then you tell your spectators, you can reinforce, say, look, do you want to change it at all? And let's say they wanted to say, you know, 17, right? So, okay, 17, that's fine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and this, and look, and you tell them again, do you want to change it? And they say no. So once you get to the 17th or the 16th card, you swiftly want to flip over the deck because that's going to be looking like the top card, all right? So you say, 16 and in the 17th position you just flip over the deck 
under the guise of squaring this packet up. You can set this packet down over here on the right and say, look, in the 17th position is your card or the card that we projected, which would be the seven of spades. And then after you're done, you can just pick the deck up, which is still concealed by a healthy three cards. Obviously, you don't want to show this. So then what you can do is just put the deck back on top and then it looks really smooth, okay? Obviously, you don't want the spectators to see what's really going on, but that is basically the, um, the trick in itself. So I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions, don't forget to put those down in the comments. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Yeah.